Hi, this is Amy from the Altis store. I want to give you a nice close up look at the Midnight Solar Kid MPPT charge controller. Now it is a 30 amp charge controller. It is available in both a marine and a land version and they're available in black and white so you can pick whichever fits your decor the best. Um, they will do up to a 30 amp output and that's with a 12, 24, 36, or 48 volt battery bank. So very, very versatile. It's really nice for, for a, a medium sized system. And um, it will support AGM batteries, gel, flooded, lithium batteries, calcium batteries, and you also have the ability to go in and customize it. So if you've got a battery that has a charging profile different from one of the standard ones that's already programmed in, you can just go in and program it yourself. Now, if, if 30 amps isn't enough power for you, you can actually stack multiple kids together and you would wire them together and you can do parallel stacking with two of them to make a true 60 amp charge controller or if 60 amp output isn't enough, you can do three or more and connect them all together and you'd wire them together and you would set one to be the master and the others to be the slaves and you would just have it set in follow me mode where the master charge controller tells all the others what to do. It's time to go into absorb mode or bulk or, or float. So it will act as one virtual charge controller, char uh, charging the single battery bank, managing a lot of solar panels. Really nice. Uh, it has no fan, so it's really, really reliable. Uh, you've, you can see here this uh, metal heat sink right on it. So it handles all of, all of the heat with the heat sink rather than having a mechanical fan. Um, quieter that way and less chance of a fan failure. Now, let's go in to um, what is new with, with these newer versions. Uh, they, they recently came out where uh, the, the older versions were just this size here. And people were saying that it was a little tricky to actually get in and get the 10 gauge wire inside the, the back of the charge controller. So what they've done is they're now coming out standard with this flush mount. So um, it, you can, if you do want to still just use this, uh, this small profile, you can still just use that. But the advantage of using this flush mount, let's take a look inside. So only, you only have to take off two screws and you can get into here where it's got a real nice wiring harness. So your 10 gauge wire can come in through the knockout, you simply knock out whichever, whichever ones you need, and it comes actually with a, a waterproof strain relief or just a, a gland if you just want to do the wires through it and it doesn't need to be wire, uh, water resistant. So you would just bring your wire in, connect it up to this, this wiring harness, and the wires are connected internal. So it makes for a real nice, uh, easy installation. Now, if you do want to use some of the advanced features, let me show you inside the, the back of the charge controller where you can go in and use some more advanced features of it. It's simply one screw, and we take that off and we get in there. Okay, now we're inside here. So you see where this wiring harness connects up to the, the existing one. So again, if you don't have the space to have the, the flush mount, you can just unscrew those and just connect your wires right to there. It's just same as, as always. Um, so we can actually kind of walk around here and see what's, what's in here. So next to the wiring harness, we've got a USB, a micro USB port. This is to upload any updates to, to um, any firmware. So you can just plug in a micro USB drive right in there and just upload any, any um, newer firmware that's released by midnight. Then we've got two RJ11 ports. Now these are for multiple things. Um, if you are in an, an environment where you've got variable temperatures, what you would want to do is get the optional uh, midnight battery temperature sensor. Now this comes standard with the marine version, but it is an optional add-on that you, you can buy 
uh, for the for the Midnight Kid land version. Now, uh, that will actually plug into one of these RJ11s. Now, uh, we were talking earlier about the fact that you can, you can link multiple charge controls together. That's what these connectors are for as well. So in the master, you would have the, the optional temperature sensor, and then you would connect to your, your second charge controller. And then if you have more, you would connect from that one to the next. So you would just connect one to the next and next and next, a, as many charge controllers as you need. And um, now we go up to the, the middle here. We've actually got an aux port. Now the auxiliary can do three different things. You can use it to trigger an auto generator start. So if the charge controller senses that the battery is low, it will send a signal off to a, a two-wire start on a, a generator and that will allow you to charge up your, your batteries. And then when the battery's full, it will send a signal saying, okay, that's it, stop, and, and it'll turn it off. Another thing that you can use it for is sending a low battery disconnect signal. So you could have this send a, a signal off to a relay to disconnect a load if the battery starts to get too low. That will prevent you from damaging your battery bank, protect your batteries, and it will turn, turn it back on when the batteries get up to a certain level. The other thing you can do with it is you can connect it to the optional Whizbang Junior that is connected to a shunt. And so the shunt would be in line in the negative wiring and the Whizbang Junior connects to it. And if you use the aux port for the Whizbang Junior, it will send a, um, all the, the information back to the, the charge controller. And this will tell you how many amps are going in or out of the battery bank. It'll tell you how many amp hours, what your very accurate state of charge is of your battery. So rather than just basing the state of charge on the voltage of the battery, it will actually be able to see how many amps are going in and out of the battery to give you a very, very accurate state of charge. So then if we go up into this corner, this, uh, this area, you can see that there's a couple of jumper pins. It does come with several of these little jumpers. So if you have this set with just, this is the only charge controller, you just don't put any jumpers on. But if you do have it with multiple kid charge controllers, you would put jumpers in according to which one is the master and which one is the slaves. And that gives you a real quick and easy way to just configure it to see which is your primary and which ones are the secondary. So that'll allow them to know which charge controller is in charge and which ones they're all following. Now, another feature that you can use this for is you can actually connect a load, a DC load to it. So if you've got a load that's the same voltage as your battery bank, you can connect the load to this and it will control the load. You've got lots of different options with this. You can just use it as a simple low voltage disconnect or you can use this as a lighting control. So you've got lots of different ways that you can actually go in and program this so that it will uh, turn on the lights at dusk, turn them off at dawn, turn them on for a few hours, turn them off. Gives you a lot of different uh, options of, of how you can set it. So you can just use the, the menu right here and set your lighting control. You can also use it as a diversion load to control. So if you're using this with a turbine, um, the way that you would manage battery control with, with this instead of with solar, where you just turn off the solar panels if the, uh, if the battery's full, this way you would actually have a diversion load. So you would have a different, uh, like a heat load, uh, some sort of resistive heater, made a, maybe a water heater or an air heater that would burn off the extra power. So this gives you the ability to use this as both a solar charge controller and as a diversion load controller for a turbine. Another nice feature of the Midnight Kid is Hyper VOC. Now what this does is this protects the charge controller in case the voltage of the solar array goes above the rated 150 volts. When solar panels get cold, the voltage goes up so you may design your system properly as so that even with, with temperature compensation, 
that you're going to stay within the, the correct voltage range of the charge controller. But if you end up with a really freak weather pattern that you get a bright sunny day and it's really, really, really cold, you may end up in a, in a high voltage situation. Without Hyper VOC, you could damage the charge controller. What Hyper VOC does is it will actually turn off the charge controller to protect itself from that until the voltage drops back down. So that's a real nice feature, nice safety so that you don't damage your, your charge controller. Now you can see that we've got both LEDs and a display. This gives you the ability to really at a glance just kind of see the state of charge. The LEDs will tell you lots of different information at a glance like um, if it's charging, if there's an error, or any, any sort of thing like that. Uh, the, but the menu gives you a lot of information, it gives you your volts, your amps, your battery voltage, uh, but it also lets you very easily with, with the keypads go in and program this to customize it for your needs. Really nice also is that it does come with 30 amp fuses. Now these fuses are the automotive type fuses and so they've got one for both going into the charge controller and coming out of the charge controller. And if you are using this with a load, it comes with a, another one for your, your load. Now if you, if you uh, want to, instead of using a fuse, which is a one-time use, if you want to use a breaker that's resettable, there is an option to actually buy 30 amp breakers that have a little button that will reset if it trips. So this can be real nice and convenient if, if you do have a situation where you, you sometimes get nuisance tripping. You can just, you can just uh, reset it rather than having to replace the fuse. So that pretty much sums it up. This is the Midnight Solar Kid available in land and marine version. I hope this was helpful. If so, give us a like and a share and be sure to subscribe to our Alti Store channel so we'll notify you when we've got new videos coming out. And don't forget to go to our website at altistore.com where we've been making renewable doable since 1999.